What's going on guys? This is D Rock over at One Hive and Victo with our next war recap. Um so kind of an interesting war. Um we did win and we were against one of uh Spencer thirty three dollar signs farming clans, so we were expecting their offense to be lacking a little bit, but fortunately I believe that they have some war clan affiliate somewhere out there and they Gave, must have gave them or they found these bases somewhere and they pretty much all had anti three star bases so we were very grateful for you know that effort of them putting those out there so we could actually have better bases to go against um, our guys stepped up but we had a pretty good war too um we had 19 three stars um and we're still you know we're stacking on the one stars we need to uh pick that up um uh, from a planning perspective, but really nice war overall. Um, I'm going to be showing four, um, four attacks from us. The first one, and they're all going to be town hall now. The first one is from a guy that you're, uh, <laughs> you see all the time. Um, he's bringing a drop attack, so I really enjoy these types of raids. He comes in with a shatter from the top. Um, two golems, puts his one golem first. Wizards to clean up some of that trash, followed by that max golem out of the CC. He drops a wizard smartly on that archer tower to get a one for one trade with that wizard uh, um, archer tower. And so that was very nice. He drops his queen up north. Um, the golem starts moving in towards that border. So everything's converging now in the middle. He still hasn't dropped his king yet. He wants that to, uh, the golems to really work their way in their base so that they take the brunt of all the tanking first. Um, as soon as those golems start moving in, he drops his king, and then right behind those are the redheads. So he's dropped his poison to soften up the CC troops a little bit, didn't do much, rages those Valks up, and they take an, a weird path. So they go up here, pretty much the majority of them die at this point. Um, so at this point, it is just the king and the queen show, the royal pageant pageantry um, going on in the middle, taking out most of the air defenses and Tesla's in the expo. Um, so he's already started his loon deployment from the nine o'clock region. Those are taking some fire from the um, red bombs, but not devastating at this point. And he still has 10 balloons in the back. So as those golems are tanking, uh, golemites, excuse me, and the queen is doing some work, she's gonna end up working on that king, getting him down. And then as soon as she does that, She's going to work on to the air defense and he's going to drop his remaining balloons and just overwhelm the, the rest of his base. So I really love the attack. Even though those dots got stuck up in the top left compartment, he had enough tanking troops to get through the rest of the base and take out that final air defense. So very nice job, JJ. Keep it up, buddy. And he still has four balloons. I believe he uses them for cleanup. Let's see, I'm going to fast forward here. Yeah, so he even had some for cleanup, so it absolutely wrecked that base. Good job, buddy. As we fast forward here and move it along. And boom goes the battle back. Good job, buddy. Right, next one is by um, another frequent flyer, um, Filthy Hillbilly, with his now famous composition in the clan. We call it the MP Strategy Comp. Where he has two golems and 34 hearts. So it's a surgical that he comes with, um, but the difference is that he doesn't even bother taking the giants. He just goes with the surgical with extra hogs. The reason being is that those hogs are actually giving him some damage as well instead of just being um, beefy tanks. So, you know, um, in some cases giants are used, but I actually tend to agree with Filthy that those uh, extra hogs instead of giants tend to usually work better. So this queen is taking out that beefy level 5 dragon. The king's in there knocking on the queen's door. She goes down. The queen's still up doing her work. And as soon as he, as soon as he pops her ability, he starts to surgical. So few hogs per defense, and he's going to work cl uh, clockwise around the base. Very patient, healing the hogs as they come through. As soon as that first layer goes down, he starts his other group of hogs on the next portion of the clock. Those go in, heals again, and then he reinforces them as he moves around. So the powerful part of the, about this is that even though he's going um, with a few hogs per defense when they move around, 
they're getting reinforced. He's keeping them healed, so he's not actually using any troops. He's just adding to that uh, hog army. So I really love the way he, he does these type of attacks. Um, and at this point, he still has about uh, 20 hogs, and there's only an explorer or mortar left, so really nothing's stopping him at this point. He, he's going to round out the three star. So it's just clean up. He still has his clean up. She's barely alive. Working on some of these high HP storages. Wizard as well, and the hog here is going to continue this uh, Mr. T like smashing. And, you know. um, so, uh, there is another attack that I wanted to show, and it is actually the first attack that I'm going to show of myself. Um, I had a pretty good war, I had a six star war this time, both on cleanup. Um, and I was pretty impressed with myself here. Um, it was a stone goho, and the reason why I brought the stone is because before this attack, um, one of our members attacked it, and it was with a lawler though. So I didn't know where any bomb locations were, but I knew the Teslas were between that um, air defense and that cannon, and I knew the other one was, uh, the other set was by the king, I believe. So uh, there were only two other places that it could be, so it would be on either side of the queen. So I wanted to come in heavy with my squad. Um, I knew there was a dragon in the CC as well, so I wanted to use those witches as well, so it's pretty much like a go-ho wee-wee, um, but I wanted to make sure I had enough tanking troops to get into their core and at least trigger one set of bombs and get the queen. Um, the thing that I liked about this raid was uh, I didn't end up having, because I had the extra tanking troops, I didn't elect to bring a rage, I brought three heals instead because I only had 20 bombs. So instead of bringing a rage and having the kills, I think either one would have worked because I ended up having uh, a heal that wasn't really used too much at the end, but um, I wanted to be more on the safe side with that because I knew I had a lot of tanking troops uh, to go in, so yeah, there it should have. Um, so the king goes down, I liked how patient I was with that. He thought about going around the base, but he smartened up a little bit. Um, I still have that max golem. The other golems are pretty much uh, wasted at this point, but they're going to continue to. Um, Spank the the royals and, and tank for the um, the expos in the core. That first spell was a little off. I could have put it a little bit more towards the archer tower because these hogs end up being bacon anyways. Um, but my second and third heal were on point. Um, as you see here, I start to work the clockwise motion, and I still want to keep those hogs healed because there are double tessels there, and they will do a number to your hogs. That golem is still doing tanking in the core, so he's really, uh, I'm really getting a lot of benefit out of, of that golem at this point. The witch is still banging on it with her skeletons, and I didn't really need that last heal, but I had it, so I might as well have it and not need it than need it not have it. Um, so at this point, I had to uh, drop some some wizard, wizards on the right and the bottom left to help with the cleanup, and it was just above that. Um, so now it is just clean up as it moves around. So, and the last one is by our um, our newly core member, Pants Optional. Really nice planning on his attacks. I'm really impressed with him. Um, interesting what he did here. So, he spent about six troops and a spell here. He wanted to take out that entire uh, corner section and get the lure. So, you know, pretty expensive, but I liked what he did there because it ended up in the, at the end of the raid. Help them with his pathing. So he gets the lure, brings it up top, and like a normal CC, I'm gonna speed through this way, but it's pretty normal stuff. He wants to handle that dragon. But the thing I loved about how he did it was that he didn't waste any time with dropping his first golem over here because he knew that his CC kill, his kill squad is gonna handle that CC that got pulled out to the corner. So might as well start the trash cleanup over on the right side of the funnel. So I really like that. Um, very patient with his king as well. He hasn't dropped the king yet. He's waiting for that jump spell to be placed and the golems to start moving in, so I like that as well. Um, and now he's just doing the, the push inside the base. King is going to take out the archer tower. Golem's going to tank a little bit for the queen as she does her work. Just now, the king's ability was triggered, and that one bomb was uh, triggered as well, so that was nice. 
he comes in with a little bit of an Asian wall, mini surgical on the side, and drops a heel for them. So they're sitting in heels, and that one bomb goes off, but they can't heal right back up. He does have a skeleton, uh, I'm not a skeleton, a poison uh, spell in the bag. I wish he would have used it like, right about now, but he was most probably focused on the other parts of the village, so it ended up being a little late, uh, but no big deal. I, I like that he saved that poison for these the people of uh, Stoke. He's actually, instead of using them in a dragon, much more value there. As you can see, as soon as you use it, those skeletons just evaporate. So at this point, all the defenses are down once the archer tower goes, and it is just cleanup time. He does have some cleanup troops around the sides. They're going to meet up and start help uh, cleaning up the rest of the buildings. And it is just obliterated. He wrecked it, man. Keep it up. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this uh, war recap. Um, I'm going to be signing off, but I did want to mention um, pretty exciting stuff coming up. We were matched randomly with Clan BR. So they're a Brazilian clan. They have they have um, 100 wins, um, and they all have really upgraded bases. They even have uh, a few more Town Hall 10s than us. They have 8 Town Hall 10s, and we have 3. So it's going to be a tough matchup. Um, stay tuned, and uh, until next time, it's B-Rock signing off. Cheers.